Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is for the May Fright Crate. And yes, I know it's been a while uh, since I've done an unboxing because I missed the April Fright Crate. I missed ordering it. I totally forgot with all crazy things that had happened at the end of March. I totally forgot I missed it. But I made sure to sign up for the May one, especially because that was my birthday month. So I was very excited about that. Um, and if I remember the properties for this one, were going to be really good. Um, and I did already order, I had gotten in and ordered the one for June, so I will be getting the June one as well. My plan is to keep going with these, I just happen to miss one. So anyway, this is the May Fright Crate. Uh, the quote is from Wes Craven, the first monster you have to scare the audience with is yourself. Yeah, I don't know about that. That's weird. I don't get it. So, like I said, I, I don't remember what the properties were, and actually, I like that I've been forgetting that, because I feel like it's even more exciting, having pretty much no idea. I do hope there's a t-shirt in here, because that's what I like most. Although I know that there was a t-shirt for the April one that I missed, so, and I think they had kind of been doing like a t-shirt, not t-shirt, t-shirt, so, we'll see. Some paper? No, just one. There is a t-shirt. Oh, thank goodness there's a t-shirt. Ooh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, this is good. I mean, their design, their designs are pretty much always nice. Um, Nightmare on Elm Street, baby, look at this. That's looking, yeah, yeah, I like that. Mm. Yeah, and I don't, I don't have any like really good Nightmare on Elm Street shirts, so there's my first one. That's cool, man. I dig that. Okay, then the pin. Oh, okay. At first I looked at the actual pin and I was like, who is that? And I'm like, looks familiar. Yeah, I got it. This is a movie that I think is pretty underrated, to be honest. Um, people have started to talk about it a little bit more lately, but it should have gotten a lot more love when it came out earlier. Um, From Dust Till Dawn, baby. I love this movie. There we go. That's uh, Selma Hayek's character, who ends up turning into a vampire after she does that sexy dance. And um, she's the one who turns Richie, I believe, Tarantino's character. I gotta rewatch that. I should do a review on that because I don't have any reviews on it. There's something else in here that feels cloth. It's like a flag or something. It's like the Universal Monsters thing. Oh, is this another um, pillowcase? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, actually, you know what? Oh, this is good because I have pillows that are like this size on this couch so I could switch it out. That's cool. Uh, yeah, like all the Universal Monster stuff on there. That's really nice. Oh, man, like Karloff. Wow. Yeah, Dracula, Frankenstein, Mummy, Creature from the Black Lagoon, Bride of Frankenstein. Wow, that is not The Invisible Man's on there. This looks good, man. That's really cool. I really dig that. I know they had had, um, in one of the boxes, the uh, House of a Thousand Corpses one, which I'm not really a big fan of that one. So that's like, I'm not using it. It's like in my closet, but I'll use this one. This one's nice. That's really awesome. The roots of a lot of horror films. All right, next. I want to do the resin piece last. Uh, not digging on this. They could have left this one out. But the other things are pretty nice. Uh, it's a sleeping mask, and it is, I don't know what it's supposed to be. It's like Jekyll and Hyde or something. Does it look funny? Do I look funny? Maybe I'll use this in the bedroom with my wife and just, like, when she's in the bathroom brushing her teeth, I'll just, like, get in bed already and just have it on and see how she reacts, not knowing about it. It's really soft, though. It's like feels, like, satiny and soft. I, mean, I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, it's, I mean, be comfortable with putting your eyes, I'll tell you that much. I just don't have a need for things like that. Actually, I don't even think I would be able to sleep with something like that because, like, having something touching my face while I'm trying to sleep, I just don't think I'd be able to sleep. Okay, so I think, yep, we're down to the final piece, which is the resin piece, which are, like, always good. So here we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is nice. I dig this, man. Um, Army of Darkness, baby. Great movie. 
evil Ash from Army of Darkness after he uh, becomes the commander of the undead uh, horde, I guess. I was going to say horde, and I'm just like, eh, it's more like an army. Hence the name, Army of Darkness. Oh, man, that's good detail on that. Looks really good. Yeah, and I don't really see any, like, mess-ups really on it. It's very... Look at that. Really great detail. Really great detail. I mean, like, look at the detail on, like, the bones. That's nice. As usual, good. No, this is a good box. I dig this. Okay, so this isn't the one that I, that I was thinking of. It must be the June one that I remember ordering and being like, oh, my God, all the properties for that one are amazing. So make sure you check out my unboxing of the June one when that comes. Very excited for that one. This one was good, though. I just uh, – the only thing is I didn't like the – the you know eye mask i don't need that but everything else i'm down exclusive army of darkness bust prepare the army of the undead another fantastic offering from serial resin co exclusive only two for right crate uh exclusive don't fall asleep shirt nightmare on elm street this is where all nightmares begin and end digital painting by our favorite artist max cave yeah he does great stuff uh exclusive universal monsters pillowcase Monster Collage Decorative Pillowcase, exclusive only in Fright Crate. Pro tip, stuff these with a $2 pillow from Walmart or any department store. I don't know why people need that tip. Weird. Um, exclusive from Dust Till Dawn Pin, featuring the lovely Santanico Pandemoni Pandemonium. This pin is 2 inches, double post, soft enamel. And Freddy Sleep Mask. That's supposed to be Freddy. Nope, don't see that at all. Freddy Krueger, not really. Um, in the case that you absolutely have to sleep, warning, Freddy will get you. This high-quality sleep mask comes with an adjustable strap, one size fits all. So they used to put it on, like, either at the bottom or on the back the um, what the properties are going to be for the next month, but that's not here. I wish they would go back to that so I can then tell some of you guys who wanted to, Well, I guess I could get my phone out. I'm not going to do that, though. I'm not going to do that. But, yeah, um, a good good box. Uh, I get the higher-end one. So there's like a $20 one before tax and shipping and all that, and then there's a $30. I go for the $30 to get the extra stuff. Um, I think it's worth it, to be honest. So, yeah, good one. I think my favorite thing got to – I mean, the shirt is uh, – yeah, the shirt's pretty pretty awesome, but I think this is probably my favorite item because it it's so well executed and how often do you get handmade things like this. Um, so it's going to go on display over there. This is a good one. Anyway, uh, awesome. Thanks, everyone, for checking this out. Put some comments down here. Did you get Fright Crate? What are your thoughts on it? Favorite items? What do you want to see in a Fright Crate? That's another thing. Um, me, personally, I would love to see some Phantasm stuff. I would love some Phantasm stuff. That would be awesome. And then do some really obscure weird stuff like the mutilator or slumber party massacre you know or piranha do the original piranha that's not as obscure but anyway awesome thanks for checking that out put some comments down there do me a quick favor hit that subscribe button and uh that's your best way to repay me if you like any vi videos i do it literally takes you a second totally painless it can mean a lot for my channel so please hit that subscribe and if you've already done that at some point just hit the thumbs up to let me know you're still watching but either way, if you have subscribed or you're going to, hit the notification bell. That way you'll know anytime a new video is going up or I'm doing a live stream or whatever. But regardless, thanks for stopping by and checking this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.